That's it. Catcher coming in. That's right. Follow up the clock. One of the major issues that any athlete goes through and struggles with are injuries. No one is immune, and even the simplest thing can completely shut down an athlete's progress. A small accident, a pulled muscle, sleeping wrong, or in Caitlin's case, getting pushed off a city bus. My technique was perfect, my speed was there, my power was there, that my head was in the right spot. And I remember two days before I ended up hurting myself, we were doing a visualization, and she was like, she just told me, breathe in health, just be healthy. Take deep breaths, think about being healthy, we have a week and a half left to go. And then two days later, I get pushed while I'm getting off the bus. I hurt my foot, so what happened was I was coming to the club, it was freezing cold out that day, really windy. I didn't want to ride my bike because I thought it was dangerous. <laughs> so I took the bus and I was getting off the bus to come here and some guy just shoved me. I landed on my foot the wrong way. It hurt. I remember thinking, ah, this really hurts. And I shook it off, came into the gym that night. Did my training. At the end of the night, I said, Jill, my foot, like there's something wrong with it. It hurts. And then Friday, I tried to run and I couldn't. I couldn't put any weight on my foot. Um, Sunday came around and, you know, it's four days before the tournament and I tried to get out of bed and I couldn't put any weight on my foot. And I was so upset. I just started crying because I was like, oh my God, like this is it right here. I asked my physiotherapist, is there any way? No, no way. I asked Jill, Jill, what if, what if I just do it anyways? Like, I know I can beat these girls. Like, I know I can win. Oh, let's take the risk. No, we're not doing it. You know, you have other fights coming up. We're not gonna put you out for months and months and months because of one, like one tournament. Another one of the major issues that amateur athletes have to overcome is sponsorship or funding. And it's a big deal to athletes who want to go to the Olympics because when everything comes out of your own pocket, it can put a lot of stress on a person. Also, you can't box in the Olympics if you're a pro, which means making money when you fight. With Caitlin, it can be hard since she's a full-time student, she has to work as well, and she has to keep up with her training. It can take a lot of time. Sponsorship allows our local athletes to not have to worry about where the next meal is coming from, how the rent's getting paid, or how their travel expenses are going to get paid. A lot of the costs come out of their pocket with the you know, gas or flights and things like that to get to fights all over the world. It's really important that they make these fights so they can get to where they need to go. So it's kind of a Shadow rock and a hard place. Skipping, what are you? But these athletes Shadow don't do this for money. Skipping, what are you? They do it because it's their passion. But even the smallest gesture can go a long way. So I'm actually on national team right now, and we have a tournament in Germany in October. So that's like, that's the big thing for me this year. What kind of sponsorship, what do you need to get there? Sponsorship to get there, it's, you know, it's travel international. Like, we have to pay out of pocket for everything. Anything that I do. So even if I just go to drive to Toronto, that's out of pocket. So any fight costs money, travel expenses, workout gear. I know I go through tons of running shoes and which might be the reason that I do have a foot issue right now. <laughs> but yeah, it's just replacing equipment, making sure that you have the most, the most up-to-date safe equipment when you're training in the ring, even when you're running, do you have good running shoes? Do, are your clothes, like moisture-wicking clothes are really important because you know you get a rash. Like there's so many little intricate details that go towards training. It's more than what people think of, oh, some cash. You know, getting some running shoes that work, uh, new boxing gloves, like, new workout clothes because mine are getting old or like a yoga membership or something like that like it's it's all the small things that add up in each episode we're going to focus on an upcoming fight in this episode we get to go to an amazing local fundraising event which does huge things for boxing in ontario beaver boxing club has four fighters going in to compete and we'll really get cool. to finally meet some of the other contenders in the club and see how we fare in an elite event the goal now is uh, to be healthy for June 11th. We do a show every year, Ringside for Youth. I talked about it in the first episode. Um, this year our guest is Roy Jones Jr., which is just, that's epic. Like he's, he's just such a celebrity, such an amazing boxer, and he makes some pretty good music too. So, you know, he's all right. Um, so he's coming in and they're flying in my opponent for me from uh, Victoria, British Columbia. So I have to fight. <laughs> <laughs> there is no option. We bought the plane ticket. Like, <laughs> so we're bringing her in. Um, it's a very nice gala show. Five fights on the card. Only one female fight is allowed. So to have that honor is so amazing. To go along with that, I was interviewed in a magazine, Ottawa Marketplace magazine, and I heard a rumor that I'm going to be on the cover of it. So uh, I guess I'll see you in two weeks at the fight.
out of all the things that I've noticed since I started filming this series is that good coaching makes all the difference. Throughout all the fight prep and the ringside coaching, Jill's talent as a coach is some of the most impressive display of leadership I've ever seen. Cedric Farina is one of Beaver Boxing's toughest featherweights. He's got this quiet strength about him, and as he warms up, you can't help but get excited for him. When you get to be in the back when these fighters are warming up, you start getting nervous yourself as a fan, as someone who's following them, as someone who's supporting them, and it just adds to the fight, and it's really exciting. On the fight card, Cedric was first up, and he did not fail to disappoint Ottawa fans. The outside little paints here, little paint, bah, bah, bah. you know what I mean? Just throw. The boxer's pre-warm-up routine is one of the most important parts of any fight, and she loses no time helping each one of her boxers get into the mental state they need to be in. Once ringside, it gets even done. better. That's right. Tell them, show them what happens when you come to the gym. She knows what her boxers need to hear before the fight. She pumps them up, she gets it in their head, and she puts her fighter's head right in the game. Use those straight punches. But you know what? Don't be afraid to let that big right hand right off the chin. I'm telling you, it's hard. And if you tag her with it, you're going to have hesitation. Once you create hesitation, you create opportunity. Opportunity means a chance for you to take control of the fight. She met you 20 fights ago, almost 20 fights ago. Yeah. She doesn't even know who you are anymore. She just knows your name. She has no idea what you've done. Four Canadian champions you've beaten since you fought her. Four. The first two rounds of Caitlyn's four-round fight were up in the air, which can be devastating to a boxer. Go, Kate, go! Watch Jill as she steps into the ring to get Caitlyn back into the fight. It will blow your mind. Caitlyn, you're leaving this way too close for me. We need to get moving and we need, you need to be throwing and you need to be busy this round. She's, she's trying, she's always moving to her lead side, always. Anticipate it, anticipate it. As soon as you go in, you know she's going here, okay? I need you to chase her down. We can't fight in the middle tonight. She's not working for us. She's not doing what she wants us to do. We gotta chase her down. And you gotta be relentless. And when you get in and you get some punches, you get the hell out, okay? Are you gonna be busy or you're not even breathing hard? Yeah. Are you gonna work hard this round? Yes. You gotta work like a demon because you know what? It's a, right now, I can't even say who's getting the rounds. Stand up. I need you to be super busy this round, okay? Go. The most amazing part about being the guy behind the camera is that you get to film these amazing moments in boxing. As soon as Caitlyn stepped back into the ring for the third round, everything changed. It was amazing. That's it, that's better. That's better. I didn't follow it up with a cross. Step over with that cross. Right away. Yeah, 
know, baby, that was your round. You got another one of those in you? Because that's what you're going to need to win this fight tonight. Because those first two rounds, I don't know where they're going to go. Stand up tall. How are you feeling? I want it. You need to dig this round. You got you to gotta win this round for me. Can you win this round? I will. Win Good, round. then you go and do it. I have that right, right from the chin! At this point in the okay. fight, That's Jill close. I don't know. and everybody else around us had no idea who won the fight. Yep. I just didn't like... I was tired. I want you to look confident right yeah. now, and I want you to go in there and just be whatever. Whatever it is. I don't know what it's going to go. Because those first two rounds were, were not... Garbage. They are garbage rounds. They didn't really know. Who knows? But you won third for sure. Right to the end, Jill is just unbelievably an amazing coach. And then, you know, they dropped the bomb on us right after. In the elite females national team category, from the red corner, how'd that feel? It felt amazing. I can't even explain it. Um, I was really nervous because she beat me on a controversial split decision a year and a half ago. And I wanted that win so bad just to prove how far I've come in the last year and a half. And I just have worked her. That's all it was. First two rounds were too close, and then I just I wanted it more. And she got tired. I was tired, but I didn't let it show, I don't think. I tried not to at least. But oh my god, it just feels so good.